When smart urban farming is made reasonable, this will encourage a lot of people to venture into agriculture by utilising the Internet of Things. So stay tuned for MSD Innovations. We see huge potential for our smart farming solution as it is scalable to cater for many different needs and the element of affordability that we have injected in will also mean that it can be utilised for revenue generation besides being a tool for empowerment, particularly in developing nations. Besides introducing Malaysian smart farming technology to a wider audience, we intend to fully capitalise on our presence in Dubai to engage in business matching activities with Dubai-based companies and also representatives from other countries. Our main focus will be promoting our smart farming technology to emerging markets as it will address sustainability issues in farming. MSD Innovations initiatives in the area of smart farming fully supports MAFI's vision to enhance the utilization of IR 4.0 and smart farming practices in Malaysia. We will also contribute towards the sharing of expertise and experience between the private and public sector besides creating opportunities for revenue generation and job creation in the overall smart farming value chain. Stakeholders and companies should partner with MSD Innovation as we are a progressive technology-based company with practical and affordable homegrown solutions. As we develop our own technology, including the digital dashboards and mobile apps, we are able to customize and scale our solutions in accordance to your needs and requirements. Smart farming provides a sustainable and practical approach to the agricultural sector as it enables precision farming, optimum utilization of resources and convenience in farm management. The data collected by the sensors will be utilized for better planning and enhancing yields. The adoption of smart farming is no longer good to have, but it's now essential to ensure maximum outputs, better farm management and sustainable practices. As to the question of how I see the future of this sector, the future so bright, I've got to wear shades. Now a lot of technology has gone into the production of these MD2 pineapples. Two drones are used at their farms, one to spray fertilizer and the other to monitor its healthiness using RFID camera. We believe that uh, Dubai Expo is the right platform for us to engage with our uh, potential client and uh, the, the right audience in the market. We're expecting to meet the customer who are looking at the product such as uh, halal and organic food product. And this year, in 2022, we are looking to harvest 100 containers of pineapple from this plantation. So, if you are the right person, please look for us as we are looking to expand our business in Middle East and across the globe. We have the technology to control on the sweetness of the pineapple, to cater different market demand. On top of that, we are also using drone to carry on the spray job and collecting NDVI data by the camera to analyse the plant health. Air Asia Farm, or formerly known as Our Farm, was born during the first Malaysian MCO in 2020. The company played an important role acting as a bridge between farmers and consumers in that it helped provide logistic solutions for farmers to sell their products directly to consumers. Asia Grocer wants to participate in the Dubai Expo this year because we want to champion all the suppliers and farmers that we work with to bring them from Malaysia to the World Expo, exposing their items and their gems that is grown in Malaysia to the world and to bring them and represent them there gives us the honour of bringing the Jago couple to the Jago Dunia. We expect and hope to get a, a crowd of people who come and um, 
visit us and see the items that we bring. So we intend to bring a large amount of items there and expose the gems of Malaysia to the group of people who are visiting us. It was interesting that we started our business right in the middle of pandemic. Our business was launched with the brand name Our Farm Asia Sundaran Berhad in collaboration with Mafi. So we had uh, YB Dato uh, Ronald Kiandi join us for our launch, officiating it with our bosses Tony Fernandez and Dato Kamaruddin. Um, and what we've done so far is we've understood that there is a big gap between um, farmer as well as businesses and we've tried to bridge that gap. How Air Asia Grocer bridges that gap today is we provide logistical support, marketing support and platform to sell support. The platform to sell and the marketing combined opens up the world of business for the consumers as well as for the farmers and the suppliers. So today we take that, we put it together and we create a sustainable platform for businesses to sell on and consumers to buy therefore not creating a void in during any pandemic or during any um, trage tragedies that can happen during that period. Uh, we've done two major projects with Mafi. Uh, one is the launch of Harumanis. Harumanis is this really sweet mango all the way from Perlis. Uh, and for the first time ever, we've brought this Manis mango from Perlis all the way to Sabah. And this is for the first time officially ever in Malaysia, it's going to Sabah through the proper channels. Um, through this program, we've helped farmers, we've helped businesses, we've helped the logistics companies, we've helped uh, consumers in Sabah enjoy and um, appreciate this manga haromanis. Uh, and at the end of the program, which is a one-month program, we managed to sell 10.2 tons of these mangoes. So in our Asia Grocer, we have seen us grow from strength to strength. As I mentioned earlier, we started as a B2B um, provider, providing connectivity between farmers to businesses and then we saw an opportunity in providing connectivity to bring people or consumers uh, connection as well so farmer directly to consumer B2C segment and now we see a greater opportunity to also bring connection to our farmers to the world stage so we keep growing our business because we have faith we have the time and we have the knowledge on how to do it uh, we are super pumped, we are super excited about growing this segment and we are super aligned that technology is the way to bring that forward. So in our case, we use our e-commerce platform to bring connection to the world, uh, whether it's a business, it's a consumer or whether it's an export market. Uh, that's the future of where we're heading. But in the future, we we'll also like to uh, continue helping our farmers and supporting the, the suppliers out there through upskilling program. And all this is also supported through our sister company called uh, AirAsia Academy. So I think recently you would have seen us launch the AirAsia Academy first ever um, drone piloting program, which will help our farmers in the future do drone farming. Uh, drone fertilization, all these things can come through these programs. So we are here really to champion the farmer and the supplier to see how we can bring a difference to their life, make it better for them. And while doing so, as I quote Tony Fernandez, we want to make farming sexy again to the younger generation. For an industry which has boomed over the years, it is apparent that smart farming will make its presence felt by showcasing six companies at the World Expo Dubai 2020.